Hi, my name is Guy Fredrickson. Today is Thursday, July 21st, 2022. And this video is about disassembling a Chris Craft tachometer from about 1960. So to take this apart, this front bezel is crimped over the lip of the housing. So I took a screwdriver and went along and um, flared out the bezel so that it would release from the housing. So that was stage one. So here's the disassembled gauge. Here's that chrome bezel. So this lifted off first. Then there was this paper gasket underneath. And then a more substantial seal underneath that. It's very brittle now. Here's the glass face. So the numbers are painted on to the back side of the glass face. Then there was another gasket and the uh, black background for the tachometer. So the next thing was to remove um, from the back of the gauge, there's the housing here that accommodates the uh, cable, the rotary cable from the engine. So I destroyed the housing taking it off, um, but I think I understand what's happening now. There's a screw that goes in this hole and that fits over the back side of the gauge here. And you can see there's a groove in this brass cylinder right here. What I think happens is when you thread that screw in this hole for the first time when it's on, it bends this metal and pushes it into that groove. And when you remove the screw, that metal is still there. So this doesn't come off just because you remove that screw. So it takes some force to pop that off. And I didn't understand that at the beginning. And then this part is what accommodates the um, sprockets that drive the gauge. So the cable from the engine spins this sprocket and then at 90 degrees, there's this smaller sprocket that's up in here. And then this is what um, spins the tachometer. So once you can get that off, there's only two small screws that hold the mechanical assembly in the housing. And um, the rest of this doesn't come apart too easily. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but there's a lot of um, spot welded connections and such. So I'm not gonna bother taking this apart. But essentially, the cable from the engine spins this shaft right here. And there's some kind of coupling between the, that rotation and the um, front needle that would give you the RPM. So the faster that spins, this would push against some resistance um, and get, tell you the RPM of the engine. Now, an interesting thing on this, there's also engine hours. Now, that can't be true, actual engine hours in terms of time. Um, that, is simply connected to the cable also. So as the, um, as the engine revs and you have a greater RPM, this meter here, engine hours, will, will speed up or slow down. So this count is a function of the cumulative uh, revolutions of the crankshaft, not actual engine hours. So I'm gonna look into that some more, and that's interesting. Anyway, 
That's um, how the gauge comes apart. And there are companies you can send a, you know, a gauge like this to them and they'll do a complete restoration. Um, so this one was a, a junk one for me and I just wanted to take it apart and see how it works. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.